It's Bryant knifing his way inside for two. Here's Bryant. Oh, and he sinks it and fouled on the play. Oh, the soft touch inside. Here's Kobe, and he buries the three. Lakers with momentum. Here is Kobe Bryant. Let's see what he does. Good. Kobe with the hand in his face. Oh, my goodness. Duncan with tremendous defense, and he still hits it. Just listen to this crowd. Bryant attacking inside around Tim Duncan. tonight. He's the most skilled and determined player in the world right now. It's a matchup between two franchises that have combined to win seven of the last nine NBA championships. It's Kobe Bryant against Tim Duncan. Phil Jackson against Greg Popovich. The Lakers and Spurs add to their historic Western Conference rivalry with a trip to the finals on the line. backdrop for today's game skyscrapers and palm trees two things you can find a lot of in this beautiful city of los angeles oh you can feel the playoff electricity here inside staples center in downtown la and now let's hand it over to lakers public address announcer lawrence tanner for tonight's starting lineups and now celebrating their 48th year in southern california 60th year of the NBA. A franchise with 14 NBA titles, the most wins in NBA history. The home team, your Los Angeles Lakers. At forward number 10, 16, six season from Serbia, Vladimir Rodmanovic. The other forward is number seven, 16, ninth campaign from Rhode Island, Lamar Odom. At center, number 16, seven feet, his seventh season from Spain. At guard number two, six one, twelfth year from Arkansas, Little Rock, Derek Fisher. The other guard is number twenty-four, six six, his twelfth year from Long Marion High School, the Black Mamba, Kobe Ryan. Head coach in his 17th year, Hall of Famer, Bill Jackson. Welcome to Los Angeles for this Game 5 of the Western Conference Finals, where the Lakers look to knock off the defending champion San Antonio Spurs. Along with Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and our terrific sideline reporter David Aldridge, I'm Kevin Harlan. And Mike, at the beginning of the year, no one could have predicted the Lakers being in this situation. That's because they had missed the playoffs and had two first-round exits in their previous three seasons. And it looked like they were headed down the same path until they made the mid-season trade for Powell Gasol. That was a big trade, and let's not forget that a year ago it was Kobe Bryant-Clark that wanted to be traded because he felt the organization hadn't put him in a position to win a championship. And he was right, Kevin. I mean, there's no denying that. After the Lakers traded Shaq to the Heat in 2004, they weren't able to put enough quality talent around Kobe until they acquired Gasol. And that has catapulted them into a championship caliber team. Right now, let's check the starting lineups for the San Antonio Spurs. They've got Tim Duncan up front with Bruce Bowen and Fabricio Alberto. And Tony Parker along with Michael Finley at the guard spots. And for the Lakers, it's league MVP Kobe Bryant paired with Derek Fisher in the backcourt. Up front, Lamar Odom and Rodmanovic at the forward spots. And the terrific Pau Gasol manning the middle. 
L.A. now leads the series three games to one, but they started it off in dramatic fashion. In game one, they trailed 65-45 midway through the third quarter, and then Kobe Bryant erupted, scoring 25 second-half points and rallying the Lakers to a win. Now here's Duncan. Fisher grabs the board. Here's the Lakers with the ball. Outside, Bryant. Gasol kicks to Bryant. From 16 feet away, he can score. Kobe has such confidence. It feels like this guy can score whenever he wants to. So Clark and the Lakers three wins this series. They've only allowed 82 points per game, holding San Antonio to only 38% shooting. They're playing suffocating defense. Kevin, to me, the Lakers have just looked like the better team. I mean, in large part, because they've been able to play with that sustained and focused energy. The Spurs, on the other hand, have shown their age a bit, often looking worn down by the end of these games. And clearly, Kobe's looking, Coach, to build off the momentum of that 28-point, 10-rebound Game 4. Well, the Spurs are going to have their hands full once again. No one has been able to hold them below 22 points in these playoffs. Using his impressive court vision, the good peripheral, Parker finds the open man. And it's the Lakers' ball. Outside, Odom. There's the pass to Gasol. passing here by Los Angeles. Outside, Kobe. Five to shoot. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Give it up for Radvanovic. Working very hard to win the end one chance. Los Angeles shooting their first foul shot of the night. Free throw good. Radvanovic. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Parker passes to Duncan. Here's Bowen. Pass to Finley. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots from 14. Parker's shot is off. Like we know, either the Celtics or the Pistons will be representing the Eastern Conference in the final. The Celtics are coming off a huge Game 5 win. Now lead the series three games to two. And will look to close out the series tomorrow in Detroit. Showing some grit and toughness on the finish. I like watching Gasol overcome that kind of defense. Fisher against Parker. Passes to Finley. Misses the three. And so Fisher will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. He kicks to Bryant. Sinks the three-pointer. Bryant's got seven points. They've been the aggressors right from the start, asserting themselves from the very beginning. Yeah, they're setting the tone, and they're doing it on both ends of the floor. Now here's Parker. Pass to Bowen. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Just get the best shot you can. Bowen in the painted area there. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Odom, the pass to Fisher. Now Odom. It's stolen. The odds are stacked up against the Spurs. Only eight teams in NBA playoff history have come back from a 3-1 deficit to win the series. Well, it's a monumental task in front of the Spurs. And what's interesting, Mike, is that the last time it happened, it came at the expense of the Lakers. In 2006, the Suns came roaring back from a 3-1 deficit to eliminate L.A. in the first round. Now here's Gasol. And finished off by Gasol. Using his agility well. The saw fluidly shifts from screen it to roller. And now the first time out called here for the Spurs. Turioff, he's checked in for Gasol. Walton comes in for Lamar Odom. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Edmanovich. And it's Farmar in for Fisher. The Spurs also changing it up. Thomas checked in for Roberto. Barry comes in for Bowen. And it's Ginobili in for Michael Finley. 
Well, the Lakers swept the Nuggets in their first round series, Mike. And in the second round, the Jazz pushed them to six games. Utah fought hard, but their defense got torched by Kobe Bryant. He averaged 33 points, 7 rebounds, and 7 assists. Gasol and Odom each averaged 18 points on top of that. Now here's Kobe after the miss from Tim Duncan. Kobe dishes to Ariza. Over Barry. That's good from Ariza on the assist by Bryant. Kobe's got his fourth assist in this one. Right out of the starting blocks. They've been dominant at the offensive end. And that early momentum has helped them put together a nice lead. Ginobili finds Duncan. That one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now two for three. You know, the focus and concentration that Duncan has in close is really quite remarkable. He doesn't let tough defense get to him at all. Now, here's Walton. He has yet to score. Here's Bryant. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. The Lakers have been dominant here at home. Boeing 7-0 so far in these playoffs. And their last home loss was actually two full months ago at the hands of Memphis Grizzlies. And, you know, Mike, their playoff success at home goes back nearly a decade. Since moving to the Staples Center in 1999, the Lakers have gone 50 and 10 at home in the postseason. That is about an 83 percent winning clip. Walton is in on Genoa and Kobe. Here we go. Duncan grabs the rebound. Parker right side. Get up, get up. The jump hook. No good that time. Kobe Bryant getting it done for the Lakers. He was a true standout in the offensive end, both with his scoring and his passing. We come back right after this. Welcome back to Los Angeles, where the Lakers look to close out the defending champion San Antonio Spurs. And the Lakers with possession here. Like, of course, earlier this month, Kobe Bryant was awarded his first NBA MVP with averages of 28 points, six rebounds, five assists, and two steals a game, while taking his team, the Lakers, to the top seed in the Western Conference. And it feels somewhat overdue. He's arguably been the best player in the world for a few years now. And this wasn't even his best statistical season. And Finley gets it to go. The spacing that Finley creates is so important to this team. When the three-point shot is falling for him, it opens up the floor for the rest of his teammates. Here's Farmar. Scoreless thus far. Bryant looking over the floor, launches it. A rebound by the Spurs. Duncan's got four rebounds now tonight. All right, let's now send it to David Aldridge on the sideline. Thanks, Kevin. Now, it's a bit of a surprise that Kobe's had such difficulty getting to the line during this series. After averaging 16 free throw attempts per game in the series against Utah, he's only averaged 1.5 free throw attempts in four games against the Spurs. That's his lowest playoff total since 1998. When Phil Jackson was asked about Bruce Bowen's defense of Bryant in game four, Jackson said, the guy's got quick hands, but he's also an illusionist because Kobe didn't get one free throw attempt in 29 shots. Kevin? David, I can't believe that. Amazing. Thank you for that great report. You know, a tongue-in-cheek response from Coach Jackson might be heard there. Even without getting to the line, Kobe has remained extremely effective. Boy, the energy Ginobili plays with is actually unbelievable. He's a whirling dervish out there who is always doing something borderline spectacular. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles, Paul Gasol has checked in for Turi. Odom comes in for Benga. Odmanovich is checked in for Trevor Ariza. And Fisher subbed in for Farmer. Ryan already in double figures here. Mike, he could be in for another huge night. 
He has that look in his eye. He doesn't want this series to go back to San Antonio. He wants to end it tonight. Billy's the long-range jumper. From deep, inside, outside, all level. Kobe can flat out get it done. Now the pass to Ginobili. Driving to the basket. Makes it off the glass. And you could count that one as a screen assist. The pick allows him to get free and go right to the rim. Bryant outside. Gasol a screen. Kobe the pass to Gasol. Good work there as it goes. Gasol's got the lead up to 12 now for the Lakers. The eye of the Tiger. The focus and intensity on full display with Gasol. Ginobili kicks to finish to the paint a rebound by Gasol Gasol's got his fourth rebound in this one Clark for Paul Gasol his fourth playoff appearance and the first time that he's advanced past round one well advancing in the playoffs is so much about what kind of team you have he did make the playoffs three times in his six seasons with the Grizzlies but they got swept all three times because they were overmatched by their opponent but it wasn't Gasol's fault he was their leading scorer in each postseason trip. Here's Fisher. Pass to Kobe. Gasol with it. That's good. And it's Kobe with the assist. Kobe's got his seventh assist in the game. Boy, Kobe much more than a shooter now. So good at getting it to his open teammates. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. He's jacked in for Thomas. And Tony Parker subbed in for Mono Ginobili. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Spurs passing it around. Passes it to Barry. Let's the three fly. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And we knew the Spurs had a grueling second round matchup against New Orleans. That was decided, as we know, in seven games. Chris Paul was magnificent in that series, averaging over 23 points and 10 assists. But the Spurs managed to win the last two games of the series, find some incredible offensive performances for Manu Ginobili. And Duncan gets it to go in. Nice court awareness and feel on the floor there from Duncan. Set the screen and then found space to execute the roll. Fisher against Parker. Fisher, the pass to Odom. Bryant in the corner. Gasol kicks it to Odom for three. Good! That's Odom's third three-pointer of the postseason and first of this series. And, you know, even though he's not a lights-out shooter from deep, the defense still has to be more aggressive there. Duncan with the screen for Parker. Duncan outside. Here's Barry. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Right side, Kobe. Admanovic for three. Finley with the rebound. After averaging 20 points on 57% shooting Clark in the first two rounds of the playoffs, Al Gasol's production has dipped here against the Spurs. Uh, his average is down to 13 points. Well, the presence of Tim Duncan, one of the all-time great Bruce defenders, Ball. certainly correlates to Gasol's numbers dropping. Phil Jackson has expressed that he wants to see Gasol be more aggressive and going up stronger inside. So it's the Lakers now following the three-pointer by San Antonio. Kobe against Parker. Shot clock at six. Now here's the fast break. Parker leading the way. Pass to Finley. From 11 feet away, and it falls Only over the rim and in. Boy, love the court awareness from Finley. Excellent at realizing when one of his guys is open. Lakers leading by 13. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Odom with the screen for Fisher. There's the dish to Kobe. Fires the three. That one's not going to go. 
That'll do it for the first half. Los Angeles on top. They lead by 13. Time now for the halftime break. At the third quarter, soon to follow, right here on 2K Sports. As the sun sets here in L.A., the stars have come out to play. And we're ready for some second-half action. Welcome back to the second half. It's Game 5 of the Western Conference Finals here in L.A. The Spurs trying to force a Game 6 against the hometown Lakers. Coach, back in December, Kobe Bryant became the youngest player in it. That's now the 34th consecutive game that Kobe has reached at least 20 points. His streak dates all the way back to March 9. Like in the battle between these two MVPs, Kobe Bryant has had the clear advantage. Tim Duncan just hasn't had the same impact for the Spurs. And that's been the difference in this game. Outstanding freed from Parker there. He's so good at facilitating the offense. Odom deciding where to go with it. Odom with the screen for Fisher. Dishes it to Radmanovich. Left side, Bryant. Over Finland. Bryant's shot is off. Spurs trail by 13. Pass to Oberto. Here's Finley. He's covered by Fisher. Here's Duncan. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Duncan's got 10 points in the game. Here we go, Mike. Once again, Kobe Bryant putting on a clinic. And Kobe has been doing this throughout the entire postseason. Just torturing opposing defenses with his offensive passes. When he catches the hot hand, good luck trying to slow him down. Plays so under control, can spot up, drive, create for himself a matchup nightmare. Now, here's Parker. Over Fisher. Parker's shot is off. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling, and he still misses. Boy, he wishes he had that one back. Offensive rebound. Odom kicks to Kobe. That falls. Nice Kobe. feed that time from Odom. Kobe's got seven points for the quarter. There's Lamar Odom doing what he does. At 6'10", he's an excellent ball handler and playmaker for the Lakers. Duncan with the screen for Parker. There's the drive. And Gasol sends it back. Great wingspan in use that time from Powell Gasol. Did a nice job affecting that shot. That was tough to watch. He takes it all the way to the cup and just can't finish the job. Now we've got the great David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. The Lakers, of course, sent shockwaves around the league in February when they made a franchise-altering trade with Memphis for Powell Gasol. Now, many have criticized the Grizzlies for the trade package they received in return, which included Powell's younger brother, Mark. Time out, time out. Spurs coach Greg Popovich was especially critical, saying what they did in Memphis is beyond comprehension. There should be a trade committee that can scratch all trades that make no sense. I just Spurs working the ball around now. The pass to Ginobili. Six on the shot clock. And there's the call on Ginobili. That's his first foul. Sacrificing his body, putting it on the line right there. That takes tremendous grit. Taking charges, not for the faint of heart. This series, of course, features two of the greatest coaches in league history. Clark on one side, we've got Bill Jackson. On the other side, Greg Popovich. Yeah, Kevin, two great coaches, regardless of sport, but they do have incredible basketball minds. They combined to win 13 of the last 17 NBA championships. Jackson is responsible for nine of those. These are two of the best we've ever seen do it. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. There's the triple. Rebounded by the Spurs. Duncan's got six rebounds in the game. To the inside. Here's Bowen. 
Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. To the paint. Right side, Kobe. Down low. Kicks it out to Fisher. Pass to Kobe. Six to shoot. And Pau Gasol, the bucket on the assist from Kobe. Kobe's got assist number eight now on the night. Gasol's gone a perfect five for five from the time field. Out, time out. And Coach, the versatility of Lamar Odom is so important to this Lakers team. He's their point forward and does a little of everything for this team. A true utility guy. And with Powell here, there's less scoring pressure on his shoulders. San Antonio calls timeout. And Los Angeles with some changes. Luke Walton's checked in for Odom. Vujic comes in for Edmonovic. And it's Farmar in for Fisher. Thomas checked in for San Antonio. Barry comes in for Finley. 141 left in the third quarter. Now the feed to Ginobili. And it's Gasol with the rebound. Gasol's got eight rebounds in this game. Now Vujicic. Pass to Farmar. Vujicic dishes to Bryant. Just five to shoot. Farmar with the bucket. Farmar's got his first two points of the night. Tough points from Farmar. The point sticking with it. Tim Duncan, Mike, has given his all in this series, averaging 23 points, 18 rebounds, a couple blocks. And Coach, he's playing almost 40 minutes a game. He played 44 minutes in that game four loss, and I thought he looked tired in that final quarter. He got beat to a couple rebounds and loose balls. We'll have to keep an eye on his energy level as this second half progresses. And Bryant slams it in. Nice work, and they are getting it done at both ends. And building on this lead. They're playing a pretty complete game. San Antonio with the ball. Oh, and they need a basket in the worst way. I think they're forcing things right now, and it's why their offense looks so pedestrian. Here's Barry. Hasn't made one yet. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. They need this. And no problem from Ginobili as he finishes at the rim. I don't know if any guard in the league draws more contact than Ginobili. Time out, time Kobe out. Bryant has put together, Mike, another excellent performance right before us. And the Lakers are just getting more out of their superstar. Bryant is outperforming Tim Duncan. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. Fantastic Lakers girl. All right, fans, that was your dad's team. Make some noise. Into the lineup for the Spurs, number seven, Fabrizio Roberto. Outside, Kobe. With one on the clock, no good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Right back after this break. For the fourth quarter action here in Southern California, where Kobe Bryant and the Lakers look to punch their ticket to the NBA Finals. Well, Coach, the Spurs have been a model of consistency, not just in the NBA, uh, but in all of sports. That's right. They had their ninth consecutive 50-win season after going 56 and 26. They've won four titles in the last nine years and three in the last five. Their organization deserves a lot of praise. Here's Vujicic. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. They set the pick. Pocket six. 
Kobe Bryant has now surpassed his average of over 31 points a game during these playoffs. And so it's Ginobili bringing it up now for the San Antonio Spurs. Bowens. Great D that time from Walton. Bowens gone two for five tonight. Bryant drives in. Coming in hot. Bryant sees an opening and dives inside for the throwdown. And San Antonio has possession. And this is becoming routine. Kobe Bryant with another exceptional performance here again tonight. Even with the defense focused on him, he's been impossible to stop. Bryant is in complete control of this game. Well, you want the ball in his hands. A real good offensive player. Now here's Kobe. He's tightly guarded. And there's Luke Walton on the assist from Kobe. Walton's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Ginobili kicks to Oberto. Pass to Duncan. Second chance shot. He lays it in. Well, you know, Duncan's too big and talented not to put a body on him. He's always lurking around looking for offensive boards. And the Lakers call time here. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Al Gasol, he's checked in for Jurion. Odom comes in for Walton. Odmanovic is checked in for Vujicic. And Derek Fisher is subbed in for Farmall. Now here's Kobe. And there's the try. And he gets it to go. Bryant's got 37. It is, Clark, important to note that this is Kobe's first time reaching the conference finals without Shaquille O'Neal. And I think that's fueled Bryant's motivation, Kevin. I mean, there's been a lot of doubts about his ability to reach this point without Shaq. And when O'Neal got his fourth championship ring with the Heat, you know that lit a fire inside of Kobe Bryant. Now Bryant, Ginobili missing from long range. They get the rebound. Outside for Kobe. Tries again. And Kobe's on fire. Torching one of the best defenses in the NBA. How about the concentration from Kobe? Just powering through that contact. San Antonio making a switch here. Parker's checked in. At the line for the Lakers, Kobe Bryant. One shot. You know, Kobe is the total package. Not just an elite scorer, but a very talented, versatile defender, too. Kobe Bryant, Mike, seems to be on a mission this year after winning league MVP. He's now hoping to capture another NBA title. And then he'll be playing for a gold medal in the summer. The only other player to complete all three of those feats in the same year as Michael Jordan. This could be a legendary year for Kobe. Hands it from downtown. Fisher's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Fisher proving how deadly he is as a catch-and-shoot guy right there. Parker against Fisher. Parker passes to Ginobili. Now Finley. Duncan inside. He's up against Gasol. Another shot. Duncan misses. You know, sometimes making it difficult for him to finish at the rim is all you can ask for from the defense. Bryant outside. Bryant is double. Right side, Gasol. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. A jump ball has been called. In the corner, it's Bryant. Oh, 42 points now. A bit underrated aspect of Oldham's game is his ability to get that ball moving. On offense, here are the Spurs. They want to break this scoring drought, Mike. Well, they've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. Ginobili gets it to go from eight feet. Boy, you love the competitive spirit and instinct going right at the bigger defender. It's required at this level. Overcoming the size and strength of NBA defenders is not easy. Here's Ron Bonovich. 
Outside, Gasol. Bryant gets a wide open look. Another for Kobe. He's getting close to his playoff career high. 50 against the Suns back in 06. Here's Parker. And he banks in the lane. Tony Taking the contact. Still able to score. Tony Parker. Impressive work there. And here's Los Angeles. Left side, Kobe. Gasol dishes to Bryant. It's in. And we're counting 29 in the half. Keep doing work inside. Close range looks like that. Will keep your lead safe. Stay on the attack. I agree. The defense has to shut the door on those kinds of shots if they want to turn this around. Ginobili can't hit. They are in complete control, coach, of this game. There's no question, without a doubt, they've been firing on all cylinders. In every way, you're right. That's 50 me. points for Kobe Bryant. He has now tied his playoff career high. He is incredible! Fisher against Parker. Kicks it out to Ginobili. Three-pointer. Hits it from three-point range. The threes are falling. They answer back from distance. This is modern basketball. you got to have that long-distance threat. Here's Bryant. It's hauled in by Ginobili. Seven-second difference. Shot in game clock. Here's Duncan. And the dunk by Duncan. They're really making a go of it, but perhaps too little, too late. But you respect them for playing out the string. And so Fisher will bring it up for Los Angeles. Outside, Kobe. Kobe Bryant cannot be stopped. He has set a new playoff career high in points scored. Ano Ginobili on the wing. Conference champions, the Los Angeles Lakers are headed back to the NBA Finals for the first time since 2004 after taking down the defending champion Spurs in five games. And we know how much this means for Kobe to get back to the Finals and to do it against Tim Duncan and an organization like the Spurs makes this an even greater accomplishment. We all heard, Clark, the questions and doubts about Bryant. But this playoff run should silence the critics. Yeah, I would agree the mute button should be on all of those critics because Kobe put together another amazing performance tonight. He's proved throughout the regular season and playoffs that he is the most skilled and determined player in the world right now. And let's go down to the floor where Ernie Johnson is alongside Kobe Bryant. They're going back to the finals for the first time since 04. How does that feel to you? It's exciting, man. We're all excited, you know. And uh, I'm just I'm just happy for my guys, happy for the city, and uh, we ain't done yet.